Hi guys, I'm so excited to be with you. And if it looks like I'm hiding in my closet, I totally am. I don't know about you, but sometimes pandemic life for me looks like hiding from my kids in a closet. Anyway, I'm so glad to be with you guys this week and talking about week four of our stretch series. I have really enjoyed our conversations and the scriptures we've been reading together all around this topic. This week is a little different. We're talking a little bit about failure and how failure can grow and stretch your faith. Have you ever failed? Like big time? Have you ever felt like you failed God? I know that I have. And those moments can leave us feeling defeated, ashamed, or hopeless. But today I want to challenge you to think about failure a little differently. What if failure isn't something to fear or be ashamed of? What if failure can actually help your faith grow? The Bible is full of people who failed God in huge ways, but God never gave up on them. Paul talked about this in 2 Corinthians 12, saying he struggles to do what's right and can't stop to do what's wrong. And for that, he says he's thankful because his weaknesses bring him closer to Jesus. When you fail, like Paul often did, you have two choices. You can let shame and frustration and hopelessness knock you down, or you can let God use your failure to make your faith grow stronger. Remember, you can stretch your faith even when you fail. Let's pray together. Lord, I ask that you would come and remind us of your never-ending grace and mercy, and we thank you for it, God. We thank you that you are always willing to forgive us even when we fail. And I just ask, Lord, that you would help our minds to reframe failure, not as something that is only hopeless, only disappointing, but also that we could see it as an opportunity to stretch and grow our faith. Help our minds to understand this and help our hearts to believe this and help our eyes to see how you see so we can love you more fully.